Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. I just wanted to quickly go over some of the more recent circulating news that I found very interesting here. Uh, one of the things that caught my eye was seeing the Interledger protocol on Cosmos, and I'm bringing this up because David Schwartz of Ripple brought this up on Twitter, and we'll kind of use a little bit of his referencing on Twitter to explain the importance of the Interledger protocol on Cosmos. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Interledger protocol, this is something that was designed by Ripple. You can verify this through ripple.com. As you can see here, just as well, it says that Ripple is thrilled to introduce the Interledger protocol for efficient payments across payment networks. So we understand that uh, this right here is designed to allow for different types of payments through different types of networks. Uh, of course, just as well, when you have reference from uh, Ripple and of course companies that are getting together on things such as a Hyperledger Quilt, which the Hyperledger Quilt is actually going to be implementing the uh, Interledger Protocol, again designed by Ripple, so that we can have a large scale of companies communicating back and forth with payments uh, and, and different types of payment networks just as well. In this article that kind of talks a little bit about the ILP on Cosmos, uh, it says here that the Cosmos vision is for a new token economy on a platform for high quality digital assets to move throughout a network of interconnected blockchains. In the early days of Cosmos, the ability of the broader blockchain and financial community to access Cosmos assets and vice versa will be limited. So its early stages of its development here with the Interledger protocol will definitely have uh, some limitations. But uh, it also states that this is in part due to the constraints of centralized exchanges which require users to register custody assets and manage the asset life cycle the lack of interoperability is not in line with the cosmos vision of highly engaging ecosystem of assets working together so as you can see there again uh, if it's something that's not interoperable it is not a focus on cosmos there of course quite frankly uh, that is one of the primary things that ripple has maintained stating that the interledger protocol will be uh, primarily focused for that interoperability again between different types of ledgers there and if you mix that again with the Hyperledger quilt that I talked about where it does implement the Interledger protocol, it also allows for atomic swaps. This is very, very big on a very large scale. The Interledger protocol is going to allow for multiple companies on this huge ledger format to uh, really communicate on any type of atomic swap level with other ledgers out there. So again, very, very big when it comes to the Interledger protocol being connected now to this uh, this company called Cosmos. Now, this is all being done through the help, I believe, of uh, Kava's Interledger solution. So between the Kava and, of course, Cosmos and now Interledger Protocol, which again was designed by Ripple, we have uh, a little bit more of an expansion on the Interledger Protocol. Now, I want to quickly go over to Twitter and use some of the references that David Schwartz kind of talked about when it comes to this Interledger Protocol to give a general idea as to what we're looking at here. As you can see here on Twitter, we have David posting a link to this particular article with Cosmos and Interledger here. Someone then asks the question, how does this affect XRP? So David Schwartz from Ripple states here that one possible threat to XRP is that people may be unable to use it, even if it is the best payment asset for their application. And this is all because they may make technical decisions to use a platform that cannot interoperate with XRP. He goes to further explain here that, for example, if you decide to build a dApp on Ethereum, you're not going to use XRP for payments or hold XRP for settlements and the like because your dApp can't easily use XRP. That's all based off of your dApp. Then he states that the Interledger protocol allows XRP and all other assets to be used for payment and held for settlements wherever they work best. This levels the playing field and improves the usability for cryptos for everyone. So he's more or less talking about the idea that all other assets on the Interledger protocol uh, can be used for payment and held for settlements there. It's only when you're making your own dApp, for example, on an Ethereum that you're not going to have a use case for XRP simply for that dApp. But when it comes to the Interledger protocol, that's where XRP comes into play, so it won't really matter so much limiting to your dApp. You're using the Interledger protocol, and that will allow for XRP to be something used as well. 
uh, David Schwartz th- goes to state that uh, basically the uh, interledger protocol being available on more platforms is good for XRP because it enables more applications to have the choice to use XRP if it works best for them. And it's good for XRP because it grows the space by allowing projects to choose an asset that is better fit even if it's not XRP. So a little bit more explanation on, again, you can make a choice to use XRP or you can make a choice to use a different type of asset there. Uh, He also states that one other point is that the Interledger protocol, unlike many other blockchain interoperability protocols, can easily bridge cryptocurrencies to non-blockchain payment systems, connecting cryptocurrencies directly to the trillions of dollars in legacy fiat assets is very good for cryptocurrencies. So you can see how very important this would be when it comes to the interledger protocol being allowed to uh, connect different types of ledgers out there. So uh, very, very connected when it comes to this interledger protocol and now it being connected directly to Cosmos for expansion there and allowing different companies to get themselves further on board with uh, things that are involving Ripple, the company there. Uh, I wanted to quickly go into something else just as well. If you have any questions when it comes to Cosmos and the network there, you can actually check out cosmos.network to get a full understanding of uh, their site and of course some of the things that they're trying to do when it comes to involving themselves with the blockchain such as scalability, usability, uh, interoperability which we've just talked about with the connection of the Interledger protocol. Uh, I believe another company here that actually has a direct link to Cosmos as well is a company called uh, Dokia Capital. I hope I'm not butchering that name but uh, I did find it very interesting that uh, this particular company I believe has some investment with Cosmos as you can see on the Kia Capital here, they specifically talk about uh, part of their portfolio involves Cosmos as far as the internet of blockchains. So quite a bit of connections when it comes to, again, Cosmos linking themselves up with the Interledger Protocol, uh, David Schwartz backing this, and of course, Dark, the Kia Capital having Cosmos as part of their portfolio. So who knows where this is going to lead into. I think this is pretty big for the sake of the Interledger Protocol. And of course, again, uh, allowing for quite a bit of interoperability between ledgers now also one last thing here I found very interesting if you want to get XRP on KuCoin you are now allowed to do that and you have what looks to be 99% off trading fees so this is basically an article coming from Ripple Coin News this is something that just came out within the last day or so but uh, if you are on KuCoin and you definitely want to get on with uh, XRP it is something that is now available there uh, looking into the article here it does state that KuCoin is doing exactly that by providing a range of trading pairs for XRPs. These include XRP BTC, XRP USDT, XRP NEO, XRP PAX, XRP Ethereum. Uh, I mean, wow, you can see that they've basically paired XRP with quite a bit on KuCoin. Of course, here you can save 99% again on your trading fees just as well. So uh, I'm hopeful that this right here is information that uh, sees you guys very well when it comes to the expansion of, again, the Interledger protocol. And of course, we see now another use case for XRP on KuCoin there as far as it being paired with other types of currencies. So uh, hopefully this information is something that works well for you guys. And I definitely appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.